I mean, that's easily handled. File for bankruptcy. Vote Joe Biden. He's going to eliminate student debt. That handles all the debt. Is he? That's what he said. The man ain't came through on a lot of promises. That Your ass made. better take care of the student debt, bro. <laughs> he ain't came through on a lot of shit that he said. I'm not trying to pay that shit off. I speak to that, man. I look back on that, and I'm starting to realize that my values, my views are aligned with Republican more than Democrat. What? Hold up now. Hold up now. Hold up now. Hold I, on. Let's I, get serious. I believe in my heart. Like, I voted for Democratic. I voted for Joe Biden because of the rhetoric that Trump has spilled. I don't, I didn't vote for him because you voted against Trump. Yeah. Okay. I, I voted against him based off of my heritage. Saying that I'm black, his rhetoric, the things that were going on uh-huh. and him not standing up. Had he, you know, been like, this was wrong or just blatantly like, this shouldn't have happened. Regardless, I probably would have voted for Trump. I don't believe in a lot of the moral principles that Democrats stand on. That bad, huh? Yeah. Because two years ago, this conversation was different. No, I, I I literally vote for my best interests. But I'm starting to see that most of my interests lie in the Republican Party. You're going to have a lot of black people mad at you. No, I'm not. Yeah. Black people are seeing the light. They're seeing the truth. Are they? Yeah. It's becoming widespread now? It's become a... Safe to say the next president's going to be a Republican? Probably. Most likely, depending on who the Democratic Party that's running. It's going to be Joe Biden. It's going to be a a Republican (laughs) president. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even have to vote. Our state is Republican. I can just... You know, go you get a know. sticker and put it on me and say I voted. It's going to be a Republican Party. Every vote counts. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, That's what don't. they say, bro. It's electoral. It's, every vote don't count. Let's stop. Let's stop. First, let's stop saying that and let's stop lying to the people because every vote don't count. It's hard for me to uh, pinpoint saying I'm left or right because some things uh, I agree in with. The left, which would be things like be you, do whatever the fuck you want, no rules. Um, but they don't really believe that. What you mean they don't believe that? Like, it, it, it sounds good when they say it out loud, but when it comes down to on paper, they don't really believe that. Such as the mandate, the mass mandate. Uh-huh. Such as they say women empowerment, but women got a lot of power right now. So what are we still screaming women empowerment for? A woman can go for the exact same job that men do. So that's that's void. That issue is done. It's all void. When you look at cr- across the board, a lot of it is void. So then it comes down to a Republican where the family is number one. So they say no Planned Parenthood or, you know, and then we like to go to these extremes about. My body, my choice. That's why they don't want. I understand your body, your choice. I do. But then again, at what point does it get to where you stop making bad decisions or where your decisions are affected? Because if it's your body, your choice, it should also be to where is my sperm, my choice. So if you decide to get pregnant by me or <laughs> cheating me out of a or, or say that you're pregnant, I should have a choice to abort that baby or not abort that baby because that's my cum. Get that's the, my seed. That's not the same, bro. Why is it not? Because you don't have to carry the baby for nine months. But it's my sperm. That is my child that I have to take care of for the rest of my life. Yeah, that right? girl has one egg. You got millions of sperm. Spread so that then, shit So then I get to choose whether I want to be that daddy or whether I want to leave that girl to her own. And if she wants to go through, if I give her the money to have this motherfucker aborted, according to Democratic views, uh-huh. if I give you the money, then when you have that baby, that baby's on you. Because I gave you the money to abort it because I said I didn't want to be a part of this baby's life. Uh-huh. So I have you no responsibility. Be financially responsible. No responsibility. That's crazy. Why? That's what the Democrats believe. Why is that crazy? Is that, that's, that's what the Republicans believe. No, nobody believe that, but I'm just saying, why is that hard to believe? Because Republicans believe that if you have the baby, you should just have it. Uh-huh. If you get pregnant by Ray Ray and you want to Deleted. Oh, we yeah. don't say Ray Ray or, or a dude that 
is yeah, not yeah. responsible compared to a, a baby from an athlete that you want to keep because you're going to get big paper, huh? big paper. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a difference. Then that puts earnest back onto the woman to make better decisions about who she lays down with. Yes, yeah, the men's got to stick it in, though. Shouldn't you think about this? Oh, shoot. Let me wear a condom. Do a woman chooses who gets to have sex with her? Yeah. Okay. So if I choose who gets to have sex with me, why am I not responsible for that? We keep blaming men for something that women have total control about. Because if I take it, then I'm a rapist. Uh-huh. So a woman gives gives consent for you to, first of all, put your penis in a raw. <laughs> why are you saying that? Because that's just the truth. <laughs> All right. So if I'm putting my penis in a raw, you gave me consent because you believe that this was okay. Okay. But the man should be like, hold up. I don't want a baby. Let me wrap it up. So now when she does have a baby, he doesn't want to be a part of that baby's life. He's the deadbeat. He gets the stereotype on society makes it right now. Right. So instead of saying that, at, at some point, I should be able to be like, I don't want to be no daddy. Here's four hundred to a thousand dollars. Either you're gonna do this, or I'm not gonna do this. And you should get served with papers. Hey, I, here's the thousand dollar money order served for my lawyer. This is for the abortion. If you have a baby, it says I'm not legally right. Let's make it equal. Let's make it fair. They don't want that. We don't because society like, does not want and that. And this is what I say: like when you look at Democratic, my body, my choice. That's my sperm, my choice, right? Mm-hmm. So if it's my my seed that's implanting your egg, that's 50-50. I should have 50% of the say. We need a a girl on here to we do. some input. I wonder what she would say. She would be like, no. You guys are idiots. No, that doesn't Maybe sound right. Yeah. It would probably be like, you know, throw out names and, and stuff like that. That doesn't make any sense. I feel, but I'm just being realistic. 50-50, <laughs> my seed, your egg. That's two people. Yeah. Two people. So if you could decide to abort it, so should I. That's 50-50. Yeah. If you can decide to keep it, I can decide not to keep it. Or if you decide to abort it, I can decide to keep it. And if you decide to abort it and you don't want nothing to deal with it, and I do, then that baby's on me as a man. But your body, your choice, you don't have to, that girl has to say, I'm going to carry or not. Even if you want the baby. If she don't want to carry a baby, she don't want to get a big belly. She don't want that pain of birth. She don't want that weight gain that's going to happen. She could say no. For a decision that we both made. We both made the decision. So but- how, how are they going to enforce this? So when I think of new laws being implemented, not only do I think about the policy itself, but how do you That's what I'm saying. This? I'm more Republican because if that baby's going to be carried through the nine semesters and you don't want it, it should come to me. What's the problem with that? Bro, I'm drank too much to be <laughs> hit upside of left field with this topic. I'm just saying. I'm, that's why I say I'm more so leaning towards Republican than I am Democrat. Because I can understand the plights. I can understand where they say that we have a, the ability to create these companies. We have the ability to be our owners, be our entrepreneurs. So we got less than two years. Voting happens again. I thought again. it was two years. Less than two. Really? 2020. Uh, you start voting in December of 2023. So about a year. The new president so. gets inaugurated in January 2024. So This is January. So that's why I said like. Two really? years for the new president. Yeah. yeah. But I'm saying now's the time to act. Now's the time to start getting in there and um, listening to people that want to run their stances on everything that's important to you. If it's Joe Biden, I'm not voting for Joe. Okay. So he's going to run again or Kamala. I'm not. I don't even know where she's been. Uh, yeah, You've you seen that fucking meme where the Simpsons just di- disappeared, Homer disappeared <laughs> to the bushes. That's, that's what she did. That's what she did. I seen her one time and then she's uh, gone. But we know who's running on the Republican side, so I don't think you're going to vote there either. Oh. He's, I, th- I thought he was running independent. You know. As far as all Who's party. running from the Republican side? We don't know. We know. Okay. We'll see. Republicans know. We'll see. 
We'll see. He might win too. Yeah. Because Joe Biden is doing a horrible job. It's not the best. Not what we thought. Not what was promised. Not what was promised. That's there all I'm go. saying. Not what was promised. And so, you know, he's getting old too. So maybe this is just like his last hurrah. It could be. I don't know any good Democratic nominees to put out there. We need a fucking individual party person. What do they call them? But we got to get everybody to vote for. Like a Green Party or yeah. just for one time. What's a liberal? No. Yeah. Liberal. Yeah. No, liberals left. That's just another word. Yeah, for left. liberals left. Um, independent. That's Independent. That's there you go. There you but go. we just need someone for one time to be able to come in and Make it happen, man. Well, I voted for Gary the first time. Gary Johnson. Trump. Yeah. First time I Trump. Him. Yeah. I just voted because he had the same name. Where is this Wang guy? Is he at? <laughs> is, where is he at? I don't know. Yang, that's who it was. Andrew Yang? Yeah, where he at? He's supposed to be running for mayor in New York. Damn it. Yeah. Get him back on the presidential ballot. Let him say, hey, I told you my idea was to give you a stimulus check. And every people month. was like, oh, we couldn't do it. We can't give you this check. But we bailed out big the companies. We bailed out all these airlines. And we gave stimulus checks every month. we gave stimulus checks. Well, we only gave two or three of them. I think it was three. But we could have gave an American family forever $1,000 a month. Forever. Think about that. And people like, oh, we can't do that. Yang that's, gang. That's, just so that's one of our videos, Bro. Yang gang 2024. I, I'd vote for them. Hey, let us know your thoughts on... Uh, Where are you leaning to? Politics. Are you going towards the left, the right, uh, independent? Sleepy Joe? Probably not. <laughs> Republicans, independent. Yeah, You're not going to vote. You don't give a fuck. 